Good day and welcome back to Chemistry Videos. My name is Clarissa Sorensen Unruh and today we're talk, continuing our discussion on electrophilic aromatic substitution. or EAS, right? So why do we make these big charts like this? The reason why we make big charts like this is because it really shows the power of these kinds of reactions, right? So let's talk about all the things you can do with the benzene ring, and they're all gonna follow the mechanism we did in the intro to uh, electrophilic aromatic substitution. The preparation of the electrophile will look different depending on what the reaction is, okay? So in other words, we could do Br2 and let's say FeBr3, of course you could do aluminum here as well, and that's gonna result in a bromination. And what is a bromination but adding a Br <laughs> on the ring? Isn't that awesome? Chlorination adds a Cl on the ring, right? And that is Cl2, and that is usually aluminum chloride that goes along with that, okay? You could have a nitration, that's sulfuric acid and nitric acid together, and that's gonna put an NO2 group on it. When you wanna reduce that, Okay, it doesn't get rid, reducing doesn't mean getting rid of the NO2. It simply means, I'm gonna do this right here. Make it a little baby benzene ring. So just FYI, that's actually going over there. It means reducing the nitrogen. Okay, so you went from a nitro to an amine. Okay, and this is a reduction. Okay, originally you had a nitro benzene. Now you have aniline, which is excellent for working with lots of other things, okay? You could do, uh, you have a couple of options here. If you do fuming H2SO4, right, then you're gonna form an SO3 group on there, which is awesome. Um, that SO3, actually it's an SO3H group that forms on there, but realize that you can take that off by using just dilute H2SO4, okay? So this is a reaction that goes two different directions. You can fume, if you have fuming H2SO4, you put that group on. That group is almost always gonna become a thiol something or is a blocking agent, okay? This, this group right here is uh, an excellent blocking agent. And we're gonna talk about bla blocking agents that we need to have. Why this one is so good is because it doesn't take much to take it off. Um, a blocking agent because we're gonna talk about directors. Okay, so activators, deactivators, and meta directors versus ortho and para directors. And that's what we do when we wanna do synthesis with benzene rings. We need to figure out a way to make sure we get what we want on where we want it in the way we want it. <laughs> so it becomes an issue. Of course, there's the Friedel Crafts moment that I was talking about. This is Friedel Crafts alkylation, right? So it could be CH3Cl often, and that's gonna put a CH3 on call that Friedel Crafts. Both of these are Friedel Crafts. Actually, I should put the point that back up towards the ring, right? That's the Friedel Crafts piece. This is called the alkylations. You, you can guess why it's called the alkylation because it puts on an alkyl group. And this is called an acylation, which you can guess why that's called an acylation is because it puts an acyl group on. Right, so in that case, if I were putting that group on, I would need a Cl and then I would need the carbonyl and then the alkyl group on this side and I still need 
aluminum chloride. In order to make something new with that, let's say I wanted to do, or let's say that we make this a little longer. Let's make it like that. Woo! But I wanted to just bring it back to the alkyl group. I can do this. It's called a Clemenson reduction, and it takes zinc to be able to make this work. I'm going to put a star right here. Star that takes zinc with Hg, and then it takes HCl and heat. And that is called a Clemenson reduction. Very useful for several kinds of reactions, right? In this case, by the way, this is called a sulfonation. I didn't write that down, sorry. Sulfonation. Okay, so you're put, putting a sulfur group. Uh, it's not just a sulfur group. It's really um, a, a sulfur. It's a sulfus group, almost a sulfurous group. If it was an acid, it'd be a sulfurous group, but it's really the ion of that. Sulfurite or sulfite, sulfite group. There you go. Ooh, it's been a long day. <sighs> doesn't matter what it's called. It's an SO3H. It's usually a blocking agent. All right, we feel good about that. Sometimes my general chemistry leaves me as much as I would like it to. All right, so why do we put all of this up here? The reason why we put it, all of this up here, just to remind you, is to give you a sense of the real power that exists with electrophilic aromatic substitution. All right. Remember, you're going to focus on how we make these, what these reagents do in order to make that electrophile look really good so that the benzene ring will want to attack it. All right. Until I see you next time, adieu.